In this question, we're going to be looking at trying to find the curl of a vector field. Now, um, you should have been able to go over this in class, um, but I'm going to be looking over a problem where we're going to be applying this over this. So, uh, to begin with, we uh, remember that the way you write this is I, J, and K, and then it's D over DX, D over DY, and D over DZ, which is your nabla. Um, and now this, you take, let's say, the I term, the J term, and the Z, the K term, and you put it here. So you'll have X squared Y, then J is E to the Y, and then it's X sine Z. Now, you should know, this is plus, minus, plus. So now to find out the I term, we cover the I term, and we just see that it's this times this minus this times this. So for the first term, we're going to get d over dy x sine z minus e to the y d over dz i minus cover the j term d over dx times x sine z d over dx x sine z minus d over dz x squared y plus cover this term and you get d over d dx e to the y minus d over dy x squared y So there we go, we now have three three little parts, and then as you can see, we've got d over dy, d over dz, d dx, d dz, and so on. What that means is you're going to differentiate what is next to it with respect to whatever it is in terms of. So, as you can see, it's d over dy here, and x sine z contains no y terms. So i is going to be 0, now d dz, e to the y, there are no z terms, e to the y is held constant, it differentiates into nothing. i. Let's go to j, again d dx, we can see is there's an x there, it's going to be sine z. No z terms here, differentiates into nothing, j. Here we get d dx e to the y, and as you can see that will be nothing. d dy would be x, x squared, sorry. Okay, we can simplify this down to minus sine z minus x squared k. Oops, sorry. That is a j as well. That right there is the curl of a vector field. As you can see, it remains with the j and k components. And, uh, sorry, not components, the, uh, the uh, uh, vectors. That isn't removed. Sometimes when you are uh, differentiating things, people are getting confused and missing out the i, j, and k. When finding a uh, uh, the curl of a vector field, where it asks you for nabla cross f, uh, not nabla dot f, that's two different, very different things, um, uh, uh, you, you must keep it in j and k. Another point to add here is, sometimes it might ask you to say a curl of uh, cross f. Show that this uh, vector, or this field is, or this force is conservative. Um, and by showing it's conservatives, you should have 0, 0, 0. And therefore, the curl of F, so cross F, will equal 0. If it doesn't equal 0, then it is not conservative. I'll go over one of these problems in uh, another video.